It's Tim Johnson in 97C, Chris Seidel in 50, both the drivers out of Brainerd, and we're ready for green with Luther Honda. Ashley Merworth from St. Stephen in 17. Billy Kendall out of Baxter in car 9. Dennis Zeck from Sauk Rapids in 2. And we're green with Luther Honda. We got a green and Mitch Weiss from the pole all of a sudden checks out in 23. Weiss going to lead him out of corner number 4. He'll be out front at the end of one. Tom Gill in the 6th pack in 2nd. Here comes Dennis Zek going to work out of turn number 2 in the 2 car right next to Jacob Tepper in the white number 88. They're going to battle for positions 3 and 4. Ashley Mayer was 17 in the 9 of Billy Kendall as your leader continues to be Mitch Weiss in 23. from the pole, out of eight laps so far. Your leader got about 12 car lengths separating him and the rest of the pack, the six pack. Uh, Tom Gill in second, but here comes Jacob Tepper moving the 88 car into the top two. Dennis Zek going to work still on that third spot. Got a little bit different combatant as Tom Gill in six is now the choice. Flags crossed, we got them yellow and green. Halfway, it's Mitch Weiss. Halfway markers, it's Mitch Weiss, 17, Ashley Merworth out of action in turn two. She sits it to the inside, trying to spin and get out of harm's way. She's hanging out there a little bit too close. See if she can get out of harm's way. She's moving. Turn two. Three laps are in. Five to go. Mitch Weiss in 23, green with Luther Honda. Luther Honda, the sponsor of the green flag at Granite City Speedway as we get back to work. It's Mitch Weiss in 23. Weiss got it cranked up tonight. Here comes Dennis second car two, but a lot of smoke exiting the rear of the two car. He moves up into the second spot. Jacob Tepper, 88 is next, and Billy Kendall in nine in fourth. 
NASCAR's on to the main event this evening in every one of the classes, including Midwest Modifieds 23. Mitch Weiss, your race-long leader from the pole, going to bring it by to the flying green. Two to go. Two more times in all. She's going to write in heat two for the Midwest Modifieds. Heat three in staging coming up next. Billy Kendall in the nine cars, vying for that third spot out of turn number four. He's going to take the advantage, going by the stand with one more to go. On the final lap, Dennis Sack about three car lengths behind. Don't know if he's going to have enough time or enough distance to get it done, but we'll find out because the checker's out. It's up. It's Mitch Weiss in 23. Mitch Weiss, Toyota and Scion right across from the Home Depot and Midwest Machinery Company with 13 locations. Here, John Deere dealer. Speaking of John Deere, we go green with Luther Honda. Travis Schulte leads the charge out of the final corner. He'll be out front at the end of one. But James Zabraski moving the 7A right off the hub next to those retainer tires. Going to drag it into turn three, side by side to go. Zabraski now bolts into the advantage out of turn number four. Schulte tries to take it back, but no. Schulte pushes a little hard out of turn four. 46 are flying. Ryan Putnam out of this one. Flying Ryan pulls to the infield as Bud Martini takes over position number two. He's in the runner-up spot behind Shane Sabraski at the halfway mark. 7-8. Sabraski started this one in third. He moved to the front right off the get-go. Just past those halfway markers, we go with Sabraski and Bud Martini. They start to stretch things out. 3 T. Travis Schulte in third. Matches the number on the car, and so does Brueggemann in car number four. Corey Brueggemann in fourth, and 55, Ryan Schaffler. Something going wrong with the 42 car with two to go. On the final lap, here we come for the white flag. It's up. Sabraski takes it. To the white flag, one more time to go. Sabraski on the final lap with a ton of space between him and Travis Schulte in three. Checkers up. They're down. Shane Sabraski, 7A. absolutely fly the way it looks tonight. It's Jesse Peterson from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada in car number 80, Brandon Belsheim, and we're ready for green. And the green flag out with Luther Honda. Action in turn number two, 442, Aaron Johnson gets to time in 29R from Graston, and we are just about set to go. Green flag ready with Luther Honda. Green flag out as they charge down the back chute. Belsheim with the early advantage in 29R. Caution so you can see dropped back a couple of spots as we're ready to go. Green flag again with Luther Honda. Back underway is Peterson in the 80 car now with the advantage in turn three. Aaron Johnson, 442 is next, and here comes Pagonas. He was at the back. He's already working on position two. Peterson, your leader in 80-01. Pagonas is coming up next, 442. Aaron Johnson side by side as they head into corner number four. 29R, Brandon Belsheim in fourth with some smoke, exiting the rear of the 29R car. Peterson still your race long leader to this point. He throws two laps down. Pagonas now charging low. Out of turn number three. Here comes the 0-1 car trailer behind him. Aaron Johnson in 442. A battle for the lead. Peterson's 
still with the advantage, says the scoreboard, but now you can clearly see Pagonis has set the mark in 0-1 as he rolls out to the front of this one. Flags crossed, yellow and green. Pagonis puts down lap number four. Pagonis at the halfway markers. Your race leader started inside row two, went to the back on the early caution, has already vaulted up to the front spot. Pagonis starting to stretch out the race lead over Jesse Peterson in the number 80 car, running a solid second, but tailgating. 442, it's Aaron Johnson flying green out, two to go. Pagonis takes the two remaining marker from the starter on the flying green. Aaron Johnson just about loses it at the base of turn two, but manages to straighten things out. And we're still under green flag conditions. We go white flag. One more trip around this town tonight for Pagonis. 11K Crutchin now has the advantage, just barely over 442 of Aaron Johnson. Christina Stadanski in 95 in that next spot. The laps going by. We see the checkered flag. It's up. It's down. It's Justin Pagonas. Chasing Pagonas at the stripe was Jesse Peterson in car 80. He left in one junior. And we're going green with Luther Honda. The green flag out. The race is on down the back. Shoot one junior. Tim Johnson breaking out to the early lead. Gunning for the fifth feature in a row tonight at Granite City Speedway in the street stocks. He rolls it past the start stripe, putting lap number one in the books as your leader. Five car links separating him and Sean Tunis in car number 39, 70X tonight. It's Brad Schmidt from Elk River in Kurt Beckins, number 70 car in third. 53B, Bill Maruka from Winnipeg in the top four. And 55, Jason Getker trying to chase him down. 70, working down to the low groove out of turn number two, going side by side. It's Brad Schmidt in 70 and Sean Tunis in a drag race in turn three. They're going to exit turn four behind your race leader, Tim Johnson in one junior. Tunis lost that battle between him and Brad Schmidt in 70 for that two spot. Your Canadians running third and fourth this evening. 53B, Bill Maruka from Winnipeg is next in at the halfway markers. It's Tim Johnson. Johnson in the one junior car never looked back from the beginning. He started outside row one in the one car. One junior brings it around as your leader stretches things out. 70X, Brad Schmitz in second. Sean Tunis, 39, in a solid third spot as he rolls around Granite City Speedway, the battle for fourth and fifth, just taken care of by Jason Getker in 55. He moves into that fourth spot, flying green out. Two more times to go. Tim Johnson. Johnson in the one junior car with a full straightaway advantage. 70X driven tonight by Brad Schmidt in second. White flag up in the air. We've got one final lap to go. On the final trip around Granite City Speedway tonight in the second. Heat race for the street stocks. Tim Johnson coming around corner number four. 55 Getter with some obvious problems in 55. But we'll bring it to the checkered flag. Tim Johnson, one junior. From Hutchinson, car number 500, the trading post number 500, it's Tyler Berry, and we're set to go green with Luther Honda. The green out with the first of two heat races this evening for the Hobby Stocks, rolls them down the back chute. Your early leader, Tim Lavoy, started outside the front row. Going to try to make his best effort to be your leader at the end of one lap. He'll do it in car 47. Number six in that second spot. Matt Fester, your pole sitter in that second position. 88A, Alex Wolf started where? Fifth. He's already third. Barry bounces the 500 car off the retainer wall in turn two, but manages to keep it straight. And we're green, putting two laps down. Eight laps the distance. The first out of two this evening for the Hobby Stocks. From the outside of row one, your race long leader to this point, Tim Lavoy in 47. 
Lavoy chased by the 6F car of Mad Fester. Fester followed by 88A of Alex Wolf as he tries to work his way into the top two positions, but not quite yet. He's in third. A fair distance between the top three cars and the rest of the field as the flags get ready to cross. You see them right now, yellow and green. Halfway, it's Tim Lavoy. Lavoy puts four down as your leader. Here comes Alex Wolf in 88A, getting ready to make a move for position number two. They're side by side into that fourth corner. Alex Wolf, 88A, with the advantage out of corner number four. The 6F car of Matt Fester drops back in third. Little change of the guards in two and three here tonight. Ashley Bell, 41 and 500. Tyler Berry. A battle for the race lead now. Here comes Alex Wolf once again to challenge for that front spot. Past the stand. We've got a new leader with two to go. Alex Wolf seen the flying green with two laps remaining, and he took over the front spot. They're side by side. A great, great race for the first spot as they work their way to the white flag. One more time to go. Tim Lavoy now takes it back. They're dueling that race lead back and forth. The two white cars going at it on the final lap. The white flag out, 6F, Matt Fester in third. Alex Wolf slows down a little bit down the back straight away for some reason, but we'll bring it to the checkered flag. It's Tim Lavoy. Tough battle for second in with Luther Honda. Green flag out, it's eight laps. This evening in our final heat race for the Hobby Stocks, Darren Link in a Hornet running with the Hobby Stocks here tonight, breaks into the early race lead. He works his way out of that fourth corner with Jeff Alquist in tow, about a car length behind, 14, Schleichy in third, also a Hornet, and the 19 car of Brandon Opsall. It's Megan Iams in 33M with a little smoke exiting out the rear of Megan's car. 39, Darren Link, he's out front. As the laps go by, you see one complete. It's gonna click up to two as they head by. Out of eight laps, it's Darren Link in 39. Link with Alquist on the chase, now working his way down to the low groove, out of corner number two, trying to find an extra way to get to the front spot. He'll challenge again once in corner number four, Darren Link, 39-year leader, out front of this one, started outside row number one. Link with Alquist on the chase, 14, Justin Schleichy is next in 19, Brandon Opsall, Megan Iams, 33M, running in that fifth position as the laps go by. We'll see the crossed flags. Right now we got the yellow and green. We're halfway. At the halfway point from the drop of the green, it's Darren Link in the black, number 39. Link leads the charge into turn three. 54 Alquist, about two car lengths behind yet. Tries to close that gap in corner number four. 14, Schleichy is next in 19. Brandon Opsall in that fourth position. That's where they started in fourth. Third, Schleichy started in third. Alquist started on the pole. He stopped back one as Darren Link took it to the race lead at the beginning. We're looking for the flying green. Right now we've got it two more times left in this heat race. Final heat race in the hobby stocks with Soda Mod 4 is coming up next. The first of three this evening. 39, Darren Link, your leader. Going to roll it around. Corner number four for the white flag. It's up in the air. We got one more trip around Granite City Speedway this evening in heat number two for the Hobby Stocks. The final two laps for Darren Link as he exits down the back chute with an advantage about two car lengths. Alquist 54 right behind. Coming in for the checkered flag. We got a victory going to Darren Link in 39. 54, Alquist crosses in second. Starting this one from the tail, Mitch Rebar in M16, Matt Everts in 06, and green with Luther Honda. Green out with Luther Honda. They're racing for $500 to win this one tonight in the Mod 4 main. Coming up during our feature events, 21 cars at Granite City tonight in the Mod 4. M16, Mitch Rebar, your early leaders, 06, 
the mat. Everett's into the six. J. Bryce Bierkin started sixth. He is already in third, fans, as he blows out of turn number four. He fell in fourth. He started where? Yep, seventh. He's already in the top four. Number nine of Ross Mead and Zach Rebar, 101 in the next spot. The laps going by Brother Mitch out front in M16. Mitch Rebar, Matt Everts in 06, the double zero T. Keith Bell now has climbed into the top three. He got by Bryce Bierkin at the halfway marker. 6J currently in fourth. Before they run back to the nine car of Ross Mead in that fifth spot. 101 is Zach Rebar in 30K of Keith Roush. Mitch Rebar continues to set the pace. starter. We're going to go one more time. Mitch Rebar with a solid lead on the final lap around the track. Double OT Keith Bell is next. 06. Matt Everts in the third spot. We'll bring it to the checkers. They go by a lap car. Now Mitch Rebar in 16. Night of Racing sponsored tonight by Viking Coca-Cola and we are ready for green with Luther Honda. Green flag out and there goes Ziski turning it loose in the 24 car. Blasts up to that front spot. He'll lead it by 12 car lengths. He started on the pole, wasted no time at all to leave the rest of them behind. 23, Rodiger, 32, Dwight Gilliard, and the 8J of Luke Johnson into the top three. Johnson starting seventh. Johnson started seventh, but here comes Dwight Gilliard going to work on Luke Johnson and 8J. Gilliard in 32 with the apparent edge out of turn number four. He jumps into the top three. Dustin Ziski has set sail tonight in 24 at the halfway flags. You see him cross yellow and green. Four up and four down for Ziski. A full straightaway over Rudiger in the 23 car in the second spot. 6'6", six, six, Forrest Foster pulls that one to the infield. Top break for Forrest as he pulls the 6'6 six, six car to safety on the infield of the racetrack. Heat three coming up next. White flag will be the next lap as we see the flying green right now for Dustin Ziski. Ziski takes the two to go on his way to the white flag next time by your race long leader, a full straightaway plus coming in for the one time left to go. Wait a ways behind Rodiger in 23, AJ Johnson in the top three. Checkered flag out, Dustin Ziski with the win. 23, Rodiger finishes in second. AJ money in the fastest lap of the night. We'll also get the bonus money as we're ready to go green with Luther Honda. Final heat race turned to loose as we're headed down the back chute. 30, Shane Lasky with the advantage moving to the front. Fell in tow here, depending with 
Minnesota national champion in the two spot in the yellow double O. Two yellow cars out front and then the three of Brandon Lindquist in the top three. Matt Hall's 5E trying to move forward and he does into the fourth spot. Got by the 36 of Ryan Muir. Getting by Muir also with a nice move on the low side of the racetrack is Chad Funton, 21. The laps going by Shane Lasky is your leader. Lasky from the pole position this evening wasted no time working his way out to the front. Halfway, we're already with four down and four to go. Lasky out front just about lost it out of turn two, but you can't tell the difference as he wheels out front of this one. Double zero, Kyle fell in the second spot as we're past the halfway markers. Three, Brandon Lindquist is next. The six car of Chance Oster Camp out of Northville, South Dakota, sits in the infield, having some problems with that machine. He'll have a chance to get ready for tonight's main event. Flying green out two more times to go. Lasky from the pole takes the two to go signal from the starter, double O, Kyle Fell here, defending with Soda National Champion in the top two. Three is Brandon Lindquist as we bring it by the white up with one final trip. On the final lap, in the final heat race this evening for the Mod Fours, Shane Lasky from the pole, your race long leader, bring it to the checkered flag. In car 15, we'll start in position number six. So your front row is Brandon Fay in 10, Charlie Sheik in 19C, and we go green with Luther Honda. The green out with Luther Honda in our one and only heat race this evening for the Pure Stocks. Charlie Sheik moving out front of this one as he'll work his way to the start stand at the end of one, your early race leader, it's Charlie Sheik. Charlie Sheik going for three feature wins in a row this evening at Granite City in the 19C car. Puts himself out in the front of this one already from the get-go as he worked his way from the outside of row number one as your leader. 12 car links between him and the rest of the field. 10, Brandon Fay in the second spot. 96, Devin Larson in third. Glued to the back bumper almost literally. It's Hageman in car number 33. 12 is Dosh and Barta 15 as we put down three laps for Charlie Sheik in 19C. Sheik almost a full straightaway ahead as we look for the cross flags. You'll see them yellow and green the color. We're halfway. Charlie Sheik with a commanding lead with four laps down 10. Brandon Fay, he's got a challenger because here comes Devin Larson in number 96. They're side by side in turn number three, 33. Hageman sits fourth and Dosh now trying to challenge for that fourth spot in car number 12. The best battle on the track right there for positions four and five, Dosh and Hageman in 33. The 12 car now takes away that advantage and moving in right behind Larson's 96. Flying green out two more times to go on the final two times around in this evening's heat race for the Pure Stocks. It's your race long leader, Charlie Sheik. One heat race for Wasota Super Stocks is in staging. They'll be coming up next. It's Charlie Sheik leading them right to the white with one to go. Dosh trying to make a move for the third position. Larson slams the door in the 96 car and he tries to move forward into position two. He's side by side with Brandon Fay in the yellow number 10 on the final round for Charlie Sheik in 19C. Black the color and white. He's going to match the checkered flag as he goes by. Charlie Sheik in 19C. Big battle out of turn number four for that second spot. Who's going to win that one? It's Devin Larson in 96. Lars, eight laps the distance. Matthew Dibb, Tim Johnson, and green with Luther Honda. tonight for the Super Stocks takes the green flag and we're racing. Into turn four they go side by side. Your front row headed to the stripe Tim Johnson. Johnson and one junior your early race leader Matthew Dip 22 but here comes
from 7A, Shane Sobraski going to work. Your rookie point leader and your two-time national champion side by side out of the fourth corner, and Sobraski takes over spot two. Sobraski in the second, 19X Trantina dangerously close to the retainer wall, missed it. Somehow he did, and here we go. Dave Moss in two now going to work on Matthew Dib as he works the, into the top three. Dave Moss in two. Ron Jr., Tim Johnson, and 7A, Shane Sabraski. Here comes Dib trying to take it back in the double deuce car out of turn number four. Side by side, it's Dave Moss still third. 26, Jake gets sent the sparks flying as he literally kicked the wall. Right on the front straightaway, you saw the sparks fly. Johnson continuing to lead past the halfway markers, throws down lap number five. Five down and three up for Tim Johnson, one junior. Started outside row one, never looked back, but looking forward at Sabraski in 7A, flying green out. about five car lengths behind Johnson, then Moss in car two, the same back to Matthew Dib 22, white flag out. One more trip. Tim Johnson on the final circuit in our super stock heat race. Shane Sabraski second in 7A, checkered flag coming up, Tim Johnson. to Shane Sabraski in 7A. Sponsored by Triple X Mounted Shooters, Rockin' V Ranch, and Cowboy Sports Association. It's Chris Keeney in 16K as we're ready to go green with Luther Honda. Green flag out. We're underway first out of two this evening for the Hornets. It's eight laps in distance as we count them off on the wall of construction scoreboard to the outside of turn three. Here and Link ready to roll down lap number one. You'll see the laps change on the high side of that scoreboard. And 39 is your leader. Here and Link out front at the end of one. 43, Dana Boyd in that second spot. Your pole sitter dropping back to the top five. Rod Berg and 99R up to the front of him. Started at the back. It's Chris Keeney in 16K. 41, Ashley Bell in third. And the 43 car driven by Dana Boyd in second. And your leader, Darren Link. 39 out front from the beginning, started outside, row one, heat two for the Hornets in staging. They'll be up next. Link continues to lead, putting lap number three in the history books, 43, Dana Voigt. Dana starts to close that gap. You'll see it about two car lengths at the very most as she goes up right behind Darren Link in the challenge for that race lead. 41, Ashley Bell in the top three, a ways back to the fourth position car. Chris Keeney in 16K, you see the flags cross yellow and green. We got him halfway. At the halfway point, Darren Link with a lead. He has no idea how much because one car link though is the only difference between him and second. 43, Dana Boyd, second. 41, Ashley Bell in the top three as the laps go by, putting down number 539, Darren Link. But here comes Dana Boyd. 43, Dana Boyd in second, but not by much. 41, Ashley Bell closing that gap. Also in the top three, they worked their way to the stand. The flying green ready to come out. Right now, they see it two more times left to go. First out of two tonight for the Hornets. Takes the two to go signal. Darren Link leads the charge in turn three. The 39 car started outside. Row one has never looked back to this point. But if he looks back and ever could, he could see Dana Voigt right on the tail with one more to go on the final lap. On the last circuit this evening in heat one for the Hornets, Darren Link, 39, has been out front. Green as they head to the start stand right now. The starter looking them over. Are we ready for green? We'll see. It's time for green with Luther Honda. Green flag out the final heat race. Two by two they go side by side into turn number three. Three wide, Derek Stanek finds himself in the middle. Roland got sideways and Stanek goes sideways also in turn three. 
as the 12 S car out of commission pulls it to the infield. We'll see if we continue under the green flag conditions. 14 Schleichy, your early leader. 69 Juts in second as we stay green. 112 Brennan Gay finds himself in the third spot in 18. Kevin Rowland in fourth. Jeremy Jets has got some smoke coming out the back of the 69 car. We'll see if that has any bearing on the final position he ends up in. 14, Schleichy starts to stretch things out. Eight car lengths, the difference between one and two. Jeremy Jets in the white number 69, still sporting the smoke out the rear of that car. Managing to hang on to position number two. It might not have anything to do with it, but it sure is a concern. 112. Brennan Gave in third, Roland 18 and 19, Opsal, and the 12 of Derek Stanek. Final heat race this evening for the Hornets, coming to the cross flags. You got it, yellow and green, halfway, four up, four down. Good battle going on for three, four, and five, as you see, 18, Roland 19. Opsal and 112, Brennan Gabe, and here they come in turn three. Your leader goes right by 14, Justin Schleichy. Opsal in the 19 car, moving into the top three as he got by the other two contenders in those positions. 112, Brennan Gabe, side by side. It's the 18 car of Gavin Rowland moving forward now in the top four. You see the flying green out two more times. Left to go. Schleichy with a six car length advantage with two to go. 14 car, your race leader. Started on the pole, has never looked back up to this point. Works his way to the white flag. He's got one final trip around Granite City Speedway this evening in the final Hornet Heat. On the final lap, the checker in hand. Your leader from the beginning exits the final corner. He sees the checkered flag. It's Justin Schleichy. 69, Jeremy Chucks in the runner up spot. Eight. Martini joins on the inside of row three. Sabraski outside in 7A at the tail land in Atkinson 18A. And it's green with Luther Honda. Dave Moss going to blast it out of turn four. 